Is the NSA freaking you out? Well, here's how you can hide from them. Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, they're all doing it. They're all handing over your private information to the government. And while yes, it is creepy and invasive, odds are they didn't ask to look at your records. According to a recent Wall Street Journal article, in a six month period, the US government only made between 9,000 to 10,000 requests for data from Facebook. And of those, Facebook only complied with about 79% of them. Additionally, not all of the requests are NSA related. Some could have been local law enforcement investigating a missing child. Microsoft also came forward saying it received six to 7,000 requests and Apple only received between four and 5,000. When you look at the larger picture of the millions and millions of users out there for all parties named in the NSA leaks, the actual amount of private information handed over is relatively small. But even if the likelihood of your own private information getting tapped by the NSA is minuscule, there are ways that you can protect yourself. First of all, you're going to have to start encrypting all of your email. And while almost all webmail uses the encryption standard of SSL, it's pretty much useless against the government, seeing as SSL only protects data moving from your device to the servers at places like Google, Microsoft, Apple, etc. So if say the government does suspect criminal activity on your part, they can just grab the data from those servers at will, completely unencrypted. You can however use the 22 year old software PGP, which uses a symmetric encryption algorithm that requires a symmetric key, which can only be used once per session to read said encrypted message. There's also OTR, which uses similar methods to ensure secure and safe instant messaging. For the Skype crowd, there's Silent Circle, which will encrypt your voice and video calls on your mobile devices. The caveat with all these privacy apps, however, is ease of use. I mean, how many times have you forgotten a password in your life? If you forget using these apps, it's over. There's no way of getting back any of your information unless you remember it because there's no password recovery. Plus, since these services require a separate encrypted key from the recipient, you have to rely on them jumping through all of the hoops you drum through just to encrypt the message in the first place so they can read it. In other words, it's a pain in the ass to write and read encrypted messages. It's probably why something like PGP has been around for 20 plus years and still hasn't caught on with the mainstream. But what do you guys think? Is it worth taking the extra steps knowing all of your communications made online will remain private? Let me know down below. And hey, while I've got you here, check out today's episode of Tech Assassin Reloaded, where Richard Ryan sits down with Dugan Ashley of CarnetCon to talk about his unconventional shooting methods. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying, come at me, NSA. I've got barely anything to hide. Just don't look at my Snapchats. This stuff's embarrassing. There's only a little bit to hide. Facebook only compiled, compi complied. <laughs> and of those, Facebook only complied, complained, complained, complained. According to a recent Wall, <laughs> Wall Street Journal article, <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing it. According to a recent Wall Street, <laughs> 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 <laughs>